Hello everyone and welcome to part two of Soulmate or Life Partner, Who Are You With? We're going to go through a list of 10 elements which determine a soulmate relationship. So here are the 10 things you feel for your soulmate that you will never feel for a life partner. Number one is flashbacks. If your partner is your soulmate, chances are he or she has been present in your past life. Soulmates often choose to come back together during the same lifetime and try to scope each other out in a big world. You might suddenly and briefly experience flashbacks of your soulmate. You might even feel an odd sense of deja vu as if the moment in time you're spending with your significant other has already taken place a long time ago, perhaps in a different setting. So don't dismiss flashbacks or feelings of deja vu. Try to hold on into the moment and imagine it further. Ask yourself, is my deja vu coming from a past life? Number two, you just get each other. Have you ever met two people who finish each other's sentences? Some people will call that spending too much time together, but I call it soulmate connection. You might experience this with others, but it's a telltale sign of a soulmate when you experience it with your partner. Number three, you fall in love with their flaws. No relationship will be perfect. Even soulmate relationship will have their ups and downs, but that bond, will be much harder to break. You have to learn to work with each other's flaws. Soulmates have an easy time of accepting, even learning to love each other's imperfections. Your relationship is most likely to be a soulmate match if you both love each other exactly as you are with all the positive and negative tendencies we all have. Number four, it's intense. A soulmate relationship may be more intense than normal relationships in both good and sometimes bad ways. The most important thing is that even during the bad, you are focusing on getting over the problem and can see beyond the negative moment. Number five, you two against the world. Soulmates often see their relationship as us against the world. They feel so linked to their partner that they are ready and willing to take on any feat of life with a smile on their face as long as they have their soulmates by their side. Soulmates relationship are not based upon one person doing all the work or having a biased relationship. They are founded on compromise and unity above all else. Number six, you're mentally inseparable. Soulmates often have a mental connection similar to twins. They can pick up the phone to call each other at the exact same time. Uh, though life may keep us apart at times, if you are soulmates, your minds are always in tune and they are vibrating at the same frequency. Number seven, you feel secure and protected. Your partner should always make you feel secure and protected. Your soulmate will make you feel like you are ever protected by a guardian angel who stands up for you no matter what. A person who plays on your insecurity, whether consciously or subconsciously, is not your soulmate. Many people make us feel uncomfortable about ourselves because they constantly bring up what's wrong with us instead of what's right, but your soulmate shouldn't do that. Number eight, your numbers add up. Just as we were born with a genetic code, we are also born with a divine code which is embedded in your birthday. This is as true as any other compatibility test you could do. As a rule of thumb, the more numbers you have in common in the month, day, and year of your birth, the more you're compatible. Also, the more numbers your partner has, which you are missing from your divine life code, the better. To calculate your compatibility, simply add up the numbers in your birthday. You'll have one number for the month, one number for the day, and one number for the year. If you add these three figures together, you get your divine code when you reduce them to one digit. Do the same for your partner. How many numbers go inside? How many numbers from one to nine are missing that your partner has in their life code? There is no coincidence between numbers, timing, and the people we meet in our life. To learn much more about how to calculate your divine code as well as your partner's life code, I recommend buying my book, Decoding Your Destiny, published by Simon & Schuster. 
Number nine, you can't imagine your life without them. A soulmate is not someone you can walk away from that easily. A soulmate is someone you can't imagine losing from your life. It's not someone you can envision yourself divorcing or being okay without. A soulmate is someone you believe is worth sticking with and fighting for. Number 10, you look each other in the eyes. Soulmates have a tendency to look into each other's eyes with, when speaking more often than ordinary people. It comes naturally from the deep-seated connection between them. So looking into someone's eyes when you speak to them signals a higher level of comfort and confidence in that person. Whether you designed by the universe to be soulmates or just two people who have settled for each other's strengths and weaknesses, the decision is yours. You can remain in or change any relationship you desire and that's the beauty of free will. If you feel your partner is not your soulmate, you can choose to continue uh, to be together or make the best out of that relationship or you can choose to walk away and continue to search for your better half. To have found your soulmate is one of the most precious treasures of life. If you feel your partner is your soulmate, I wish you both endless days of joy, laughter and infinite love. And if you enjoy this video, I wish you will sign up for my newsletters on www.carmenhara.com. You can also click like on this video or send me a message to let me know what you think. Thank you for watching. I'm Carmen Hara.